Hey man, hey man, if you're working on some uh, rhythm and trying to get some leads to fit in, just block everything into little groups of four. So here's one and two and three and four and that's your good old uh, A chord. One and two and three and four and then we'll add a little riff on top of that. One and two and three and four and so that was I went from this position up to that position and that's really not a big deal. You just shift up and shift back down. One thing that helps with that transition is to slide with the ring finger. That's a seventh fret on the fifth string. So my licks up here were like one and two and three and four and one and back down. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So that's a decent one for pretty much Johnny Be Good there, isn't it? That's just index flat on two skinny strings, fifth fret. I'm gonna go one and two and three and four and that's pretty simple i've just got my index hit here hitting two strings then on the second and third strings ring fingers flat hitting two strings then on the same two strings fifth fret then middle finger comes on to 6th fret 3rd string and I'm back to 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and of course you've got to vary it you can't play the same phrase over and over when, when you're doing your hot licks <laughs> so that last one was that's ring at 7 on 2nd string Pinky, first string, eighth fret. And that old junk. And you can always get back to your root. So just as long as you time them out in little groups of four, you can always do eights, twelves, or sixteens. But for now, keep it at four. And, you know, you're trying to maintain a steady beat there, like a one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Just as long as you got your fours going there, you know, four on the floor. <laughs> That's gonna, it should work. All right, man. Well, that's just a little shorty for now. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.